help me welcome to the stage president of Marvel Studios, Kevin Feige! Hello, everybody. Hello, Hall H. Now, I could spend 90 minutes talking about what we've done, or I could spend some time talking about what we're about to do. <laughs> Phase four of the MCU, and we're gonna take you through all the projects we're working on from 2020 to 2021. The Eternals, something entirely new, entirely different for the MCU, a group of immortals who've been on Earth for 35,000 years. They've been there amongst the MCU. We haven't met them before. This film is full Jack Kirby. And I want you guys to say a big hello to our director, director of Eternals, Chloe Zhao. Do you guys have any interest in meeting some of the Eternals? Yeah. All right. Ladies and gentlemen, as Icarus, Richard Madden. Yeah. Playing Kingo, Kamel Nanjani. As Makari, Lauren Ridlaw. As Fastos, Brian Tyree Henry. I'm going to bring out the leader of the Eternals, playing Ajax, Salma Hayek. Let me introduce, playing Sprite, Liam McHugh. And his big bad Gilgamesh, Don Lee. And finally, unbelievably, playing Thena, Angelina Jolie. The Falcon and the Winter Soldier coming to Disney's new streaming platform, Disney Plus. This Disney Plus, let me tell you something, is giving Marvel Studios an opportunity to tell so many more stories that we haven't been able to tell before. Most specifically, what's going on with the Falcon and Winter Soldier post Endgame? Ladies and gentlemen, Anthony Mackie and Sebastian Stan. You take it, you take it, hold it. Thank you. All right, that's enough, let me, let me get it back. <laughs> no, we, all right, sorry. Hey, be careful. Shang-Chi and the Legend of the Ten Rings, the director of Shang-Chi, Destin Cretton. Hi, everybody. It is a huge honor for me to introduce you to the incredible Simu Liu. WandaVision, another mega event series we're doing on Disney Plus. How about you meet Wanda Maximoff, Lizzie Olsen, and The Vision, Paul Bettany. Meet your new Monica Rambo, Tiana Paris. <laughs> Loki is coming to Disney Plus. The question I got asked more than any other question after Endgame was where did Loki go? What happened to Loki? This series will tell you what happened to Loki right after that. He goes to a number of places. I don't want to spoil them, but I will spoil the first place he went. He came to Hall H. Ladies and gentlemen, Tom Hiddleston.
Doctor Strange in the Multiverse of Madness. Say hi to the director, Scott Derrickson. You know what strikes me about Doctor Strange? What? The fact that Benedict Cumberbatch plays him. Yes, absolutely. Ladies and gentlemen, Benedict Cumberbatch. <laughs> Hello. I heard you had a little bit of a planes, trains, and automobiles situation getting here to Hall H all during your birthday. No, I just did this. Because Hall H is so important. I feel bad that you did that. It was my birthday yesterday, and they yeah. very kind of... So I think, I think you all know where I'm going to go with this. Yes. And because it's non-licensed, we won't be sued. To you, happy birthday, birthday to you. Yeah. Happy birthday, dear Benedict. L louder. Thank you very much. <laughs>